Hello, third graders. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Today is July 24th, and we are going to continue to work on addition and subtraction. Our main focus this, this week is going to be subtraction because we focused more on addition last week. Now, this is our last week, um, but let's make sure we understand the things that I'm asking you to do. I ask you to watch this video, of course. And the same place where you find this video, you'll see your lesson for today. It should be summer school, third grade, math, June 24th. Okay, so that would, that's what you should be looking for. And again, you'll be looking for addition and subtraction uh, problems. That's what you, you'll be doing there. Now, after you finish that, we'll have our Zoom meeting at 10 o'clock. Okay, so this again, the same place where you found this video and you see your work to do, you'll have the link for our Zoom meeting at 10 o'clock, okay? So, like I was saying, we're gonna focus on subtraction this week, okay? And subtraction is a little tiny bit more difficult than math because of the idea of regrouping or borrowing, okay? So, a, su a subtraction problem like eight minus five is really easy to do. Eight minus five, is three. I don't have to borrow from anywhere. But uh, when we have other types of subtraction problems, like this problem I have up here, you have a, you have a situation where you need to regroup or, or borrow. Okay. So if I have 58 minus 49, when I subtract, I'm going to start in the ones place. Okay. Because if there isn't enough ones, I have a fallback of going to the tens place. To borrow. I can borrow a 10. Sometimes people call that regrouping. That's why I say borrow or regrouping because you'll hear people say that say them both and they mean the same thing in subtraction. Okay? So in this case, when I have 58 minus 49, I have a situation where I have eight ones, but I need to take away nine. So you think, how do I do that? How do I take away nine ones? when I only have eight ones, okay? So if I was drawing a picture of this, I'd be trying to take away nine. So I take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I need to take away another one, but I don't have any more ones. So what I do is I borrow one of my tents, okay? So I come over here to my tents place and I'm gonna take one of those, Maybe I'll just raise it. And I'll give myself 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, and I'm gonna take one of those. All right, so how does that look in like mathematic notation instead of drawing a picture? Well, what I'm gonna do is because I have nine and I only have eight, I take one of my tens so when I got rid of one of those tens, that's what I was doing. Now, how many tens do I have left? One, two, three, four. I have four tens left, but I just gave myself 10 ones. So how many, uh, how many ones did I have after I gave myself 10? Well, I had eight <clears throat> and I gave myself 10 more. Now I have 18 ones. Now I've crossed out nine of them already, so all I have to do is count how many I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine left. Okay, I have nine left. So uh, now I can do my tens. Now in my tens place, I have four tens and I'm going to get rid of four tens. <laughs> okay? So this one's gone, this one's gone, this one's gone, and this one's gone. All right, so what do I have left? I only have these nine left from over here. So that means 58 minus 49 equals nine, okay? Now, if I wanna prove that my answer is right, I can take my answer, which in this case is called a difference, and I can add to it what I was subtracting, which in this case was 49, and I can see if I get 58 again. If I get 58 again, 
it's right. If I did it, it means I made a mistake somewhere. Okay? 9 plus 9 is 18. And 18, there's a 1 and an 8. I'm going to regroup the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. Okay, so see how this number matches this number. I, it's just a check to see if I was right. Okay, we've got time, so let's do another problem. So let me erase this. Erase, 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 erase. Erase, erase, erase. All right, so let's do 74 minus 56. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw myself a picture of 74, so I need 10s. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, and each of these are 10, 50, 60, 70. And now, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and we need 74. 71, 72, 73, 74. Okay? So, I got 74 drawn. All right, now, this is a similar problem to the last problem, that in right in the ones place, I have a problem. I'm trying to take away six, and I only have four. So what am I gonna do if I don't have enough ones to take away? Well, I'm going to borrow again, okay? So I'm going to take one of my 10s. This time I'll just cross it out. I'm going to take this 10 right here. So take that 10. How many 10s do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six 10s left, but I just gave myself 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay? So how many ones do I have now? Well, I have the four I had before plus 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14 now. Okay, so I now have 14 ones. And that lets me take away six. Let's take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Now all I have to do is count how many I have left that I haven't crossed out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 14 minus 6 is 8. Now I'm going to come over to my tens place. I have 6 tens left over and I need to take away 5 of them. Okay? So taking away 1 ten, 2 tens, 3 tens, four tens, five tens. How many do I have left? I have this one right here left. So I have one ten left. So put that together. What have I got? I've got 18. Let's double check to make sure I was right. So I'm gonna take my answer, which is called a difference, plus the number I was subtracting, and see if I get my first number, 74. <clears throat> Eight plus six is 14. Regroup the 10. 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 5 is 7. So we have 74 here, 74 here. I can be fairly confident that I got it right. Okay, so in subtraction, it is very, very important for you to take your time. The most common mistake, if you can call it a mistake that I see uh, students try to make in doing subtraction, is trying to work out parts in your head. Okay, and that includes not making notations for yourself when one, one number, when one of your numbers changes, right? If you borrow 10, you want to make a note on your paper to show that you borrowed that 10. And there's two parts to that. You're taking away one of your 10s and you're adding 10 ones. Okay, so when I see, like I said, when I see people make a mistake, it's usually they're off by 10 because they forget that they borrowed a 10 and they pretend that they hadn't and they end up with an extra 10 um, in their answer. Okay, so again, watch out for that. It's an easy thing to look for if you just make sure that each problem you take your time on and remember to show your notes for it. Now, it might help you to draw a picture, especially if you're a little rusty on subtraction 
or if you try to do some, some subtraction problems and you, you have some struggles with that. Okay, often just drawing a picture for yourself, and it, it just takes a couple of seconds to draw a picture. You don't have to do anything real elaborate. And then crossing out your numbers to show your subtraction, it's a good way to practice this. And it also helps you get a picture in your head of what you're doing when you subtract. And that ability to put a picture in your head, which we call visualization, is very, very important to math. It's one of the most important skills uh, that you can find. People that are usually good at math are good at visualizing problems in their head or understanding what's going on. Does that mean you don't make notes for yourself? No, you keep making notes, but that visualization is kind of an understanding um, that, that, we're, that we're trying to work on. It's something that we build um, throughout third grade. Okay, so if you remember, like I said, you're gonna have something to do right after this. Again, it should be summer school, third grade math, June 24th. Okay, and then our Zoom meeting at 10 o'clock. I hope to see you there. If you have questions, you do any of those problems, any of them give you a hard time, write down the number. Okay, and we can go back and go over it again. We'll go over some more subtraction problems and give you some more practice and stuff too. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you at 10 o'clock.